All right, so what we've built so far with this IPO algorithm, input, process, output, is what I'd like to call string IPO programs, because um, we've been dealing with strings, right? We get words, we build a, a message, and we output it, right? With the pizza order, right, we got words, we got strings as our input. We use those strings together into a message, and we output the result. I'd like to now get into number IPO programs where we ask the user for some numbers, we do some calculations on those numbers, and then output the result. And we're going to start with just a simple addition calculator. Um, oh, I have my Madlib open here still. So let's start with a, a new project here. I'm going to copy my template. And let's see what I can get. Oops. Rename it to, hello, select everything, please. There we go, simple addition calc, something like that. Okay, open with code. And I can't remember, did I make, oh yeah, I was gonna make some changes to the template because I don't like this font as much. I like the, uh, the system one, it's cool. And I found it was a little wide maybe, let's go 500. And again, this isn't the <laughs> template, so I'll have to fix the template. Uh, anyway, let's go here. We're just going to go simple addition. Simple addition. Um, enter two numbers and then press the button. Right, so I'll zoom in a bit here. Sorry. Let's go number one and then our, our input element. Uh, let's go number two, and then another input element. Let's do a paragraph with a button in it. Calculate. We'll do the words for the button. Maybe we do, we'll do a little HR, and then a paragraph with some dashes, and this will be for our output again. I like doing my little output paragraph. Okay, let's save that. Go live, excuse me. Some basic HTML. Let's open up that console. No error messages. That's nice. Okay. So um, we talked about string data before, right? Hi plus there, and it just joins them together, right? We can do this this addition operation, concatenation. It's called on strings, um, but we can also add numbers, right? Two plus three is five. That's exciting. We can subtract numbers. Seven take away four. Oh, and the semicolon is optional. 7 take away 4 is 3. Uh, we can multiply numbers 4 times 5, so we use a star for that. We can do division. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. Uh, we can do remainder. The, the percent sign it doesn't mean percent. It's modulus or remainder. If I divide 11 by 2, I would get a remainder of 1. If I divide 11 by 3, I would get a remainder of 2, right? 3 times 3 is 9, remainder of 2. So we do the remainder. Um, what else? There's exponents. 3 star star 2 is 3 squared. 4 star star 3 is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So JavaScript supports all these mathematical operators. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, remainder, exponents. Cool. Oh, there's also... Um, actually, I'll get into that in the next video, I think. Here's our basic operators. O order of operations we should look at. If I go 2 plus 3 times 4, um, JavaScript does proper order of operations. There's the multiplication first, and to get 12, 2 plus 12 is 14. If we wanted to force it, you can use brackets to force the order of operations. And it would go 2 plus 3 first, brackets first, 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, so, so we can do operations on numbers. But how do we get numbers? Notice how the 2 and the 3 don't have quotes around them, right? If I did 2 plus 3, I would get 23. Well, the, the, the symbols 2 and 3, because it's the string 2 plus the string 3. And when I add strings together, JavaScript just joins them together, right? So this, this isn't really the number 2, it's the character 2, and the character 3, and it joins them together to a string. So how do I get numbers? Well. Let's, let's just try to do it the way we would normally do it here. We'll go to our, I need IDs on things. So my button, I'm just gonna do my boring VTN. Um, let's give this an ID of num1 in. Let's give this an ID of num2 in. 
I like to do that in just to remind me it's an input element. Uh, and I already have the output there. Okay, good. Okay, we'll save that. I don't know why my save is slow today. I mean, my computer's got a lot, a lot on the go. Okay, well, simple addition. Hello, addition calculator. And first things first, let's do that uh, button event listener. So we'll get the button, btm, add an event listener, click, and then we'll give it a function just called btm clicked. We need to define that function. Hopefully this is really familiar now. And now I want to do my input. That's right, input, process, output. All right, the button is clicked. I want to get the inputs, All right? Get these numbers, add them together, output the result. Okay, so to get the inputs, num1 in and num2 in. So we need a variable, right, to store it. So num1 will be assigned document, I get them by ID num1 in dot value. Now remember, now notice when I do value, it always wants to auto complete to this area value max. So I have to hit the space to cancel that and then come back. Once you do it once, it's better. Num2, oh, I should totally copy and paste. So just control C, control V, we'll go num2 is num2 in dot value. Okay, got my outputs. Uh, let total be assigned num1 plus num2. And then our output, uh, document dot get element by ID output. And we want to change the inner HTML to be whatever is in my variable total. All right, so get the value of the input element, save it in this variable. Get the value of the other input elements, save it in this variable. Add the two things together, save it in this variable, and then output the result. Beautiful. Let's run it. Save that. Go here. No error messages. All right. So 5 and 6. 5 plus 6 should be 11. And I get 56. All right. 56. That's exciting. So what's happening here, right, is when I go document so I get element by ID num1 in dot value, that is a string. String plus a string just concatenates, joins them together, right? 5 plus 6, 56. All right, so really easy. JavaScript does know how to do 5 plus 6. We need to convert the string into a number. There's a couple different ways to do it. I recommend just doing this because it's really easy. Plus sign in front of the string. If you take the string and put a plus sign in front, JavaScript's like, well, I can't. What do you mean this, this positive string? That doesn't make sense, right? It's like the, the positive number. So it says, okay, I must make this a number. And it converts it, right? Positive, and you put uh, whatever you want in here, and it'll convert to a number. Uh, if it can, if it's like, a word, even if it's like that, it'll give you this NAN, which stands for not a number. Okay, so it won't it won't work if they type in something in, in not not actually a number. Okay, so let's try that. Just in front of here, plus sign, right? Because this is when I get the value. This is the string, so I can put a plus sign in front of that. Right, the value of the input element is a string. Put a plus sign. And then these variables will be actual numbers. So when I go this plus this, it should be adding the numbers together and get me the correct number. That's the plan anyway. Let's see if it works better this time. 5 and 6, 11, yay, 60, 65. All right, looks like it works. Okay, now one thing to help, right, if I wrote 60 here, I'm going to get that NAN, not a number. So one thing you can do is on these input elements, you can change the type from text to number. And what that does is it, it just changes the input element type so that now, see these little arrows? Those weren't there before. And if I try to type letters in, okay, E works because that stands for exponents. Um, you can use that for, for exponents, but any other letter doesn't work. I can only type numbers in. 
So it helps restrict the, the inputs that can be done. Um, yeah, that looks good. Now we still think, now this is a common mistake that people make. People are like, oh, well then I don't need this plus sign anymore, right? Because the input type is number. So when I get the value of this input, it should be a number. And to me, that's very logical. I, I think the same thing. So, well, let's get rid of the plus signs and we'll go back to our five plus six and we still get 56. Okay, so, so changing the input type to number doesn't change the value type of the input element. It's still a string data type, right? When I go dot value, it still gives it to me as a string. So we do need that plus sign in front to convert it back to the numbers. And then it works. Okay, so when you want numerical input, just please, please put those numbers in. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll do one more video, I think, with a more complicated formula after this, um, just to show you some more math things that we can do, and then you get to build some stuff. All right, hope that made sense. Take care, and see you in the next video.